They don't know how to do anything at all. They were literally born yesterday. They don't know what's going on. They don't know how to do anything. They're taking literally everything from you. It's very, very hard. It's hard for the mother and it's hard for the baby. I'm Denise. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. In this video today, we're going to be talking about the five things that I wish I knew before having my baby. One of the first things that I wish I knew before having my baby, I wish I knew that it was very useful to continue taking prenatal vitamins. They still help your body, they provide nutrients, and they also provide you with energy. If you breastfeed your baby, you already know that they're taking all of your nutrients and your energy they're taking literally everything from you and by taking the prenatal vitamins it just helps you out even more also if you just gave birth to a baby you know how much it takes out of you it just completely drains you so by continuing taking prenatal vitamins it definitely helps you out and that's one of the things that I wish I had known so another thing that I wish I had known to do before having my baby was to make a permanent list of friendly members and friends that could definitely help out after the baby came. What I had done after my son was born like literally the day of, I was asking family members like, oh, could you help out with this or could you help out with that? I asked the very last minute and I wish I would have made a list or contacted people ahead of time. That way I could be more prepared on letting people know what I needed help with rather than literally letting them know the moment after I had the baby. You know, it's one of those things I feel like it's better to be prepared for. Another thing that I wish I had known before having a baby is that breastfeeding is very very hard it's hard for the mother and it's hard for the baby you would think it's one of those things that's natural it's what they've been doing since literally day one since the beginning of time you know people have been breastfeeding so I thought it would be so natural so easy the baby would just pop out and boom know how to breastfeed know how to eat from the boob but no the baby doesn't know the mother doesn't know it's really one of those things that you have to learn you have to take it day by day you have to be patient with the baby because they literally they were literally born yesterday they don't know what's going on they don't know how to do anything but cry like you know they don't know how to do anything at all so it's like you just have to be patient and it's just one of those things that I wish I had known that breastfeeding is harder than it seems it's not as easy as you think even though it is natural it doesn't come natural to everybody it really takes time it takes a while to learn and to get used to for some people they keep on pushing and pushing to get the hang of it and some people they just can't and it's okay either way Hi again, it's me, Denise, just jumping in the middle of this video to see if you like this video so far. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know that you're enjoying this video. Hit the subscribe button that's right over here. Also, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be giving a shout out to my subscribers. So I'm going to link right here my Instagram. I'm going to have it right here. I would like to see if you guys can send me a message, share me on your story send that to me direct message me let me know what you like about my channel let me know if you like my video ideas if you have a favorite video or anything related to that let me know and I'm gonna give you one of my subscribers a shout out in my upcoming videos so make sure you do that and I'm also gonna link my Instagram down below that way you guys can click on it your comment may be in future videos all right let's get right back into this video Another thing that I wish I knew before baby is that sometimes expectations won't be reached. Like you'll probably expect your baby to just have a sleeping pattern right away. You'll expect to go to sleep and get right back to your sleeping pattern, to your sleep routine when no, it's not like that at all. Things are going to be completely different now. It's not going to be what you expected. It's just something that I wish that I had known. Related to expectations, I did 
didn't expect to not be able to get a lot of things done. Like I'm the type of person that makes a list for the day, a list of things to do, and I like to just get everything done. Just knock everything down, knock everything off the list, get it done, and call it a day. But once the baby gets there, it is not like that at all. I found out the hard way that it is very near impossible to get everything done like I used to before. What I wish I had known was that my expectations wouldn't have been reached. If that makes any sense at all. If it makes sense, give this video a like. If it doesn't make sense, comment down below and say, you make absolutely no sense. I have no idea what you're talking about. Another thing that I wish I had known before my baby came into this world is that friendships and family relationships will change, whether it's for the good or for the bad. For friendships, sometimes you'll see that if you have single friends or friends that don't have kids, those relationships will kind of become more distant and not as close. If you have friends that do have kids, you'll probably become more closer and more understanding of the things that they went through. I was really close with one of my friends who had a baby and there was just some things that I noticed about her being a mother that was different than my friends that were single, didn't have any kids, they weren't in any relationship at all. And now I'm more understanding of the way she parented and the way she was. So you'll probably be more understanding as a parent what it's like and you know why mothers do certain things. And for other family relationships, if you have family members that don't have any kids, you'll probably become more distant. And family members that already have kids, you'll most likely feel more understanding of, you know, the way that they live their life and the way that they do things with their kids compared to family members that don't have any kids. You'll probably feel a connection more with your family members that have kids versus the ones that don't, if that makes sense at all. Even though friendships and family relationships are changing, it's not always a bad thing, you know? It's like things change, people grow up, people have families, and life goes on. That wraps it up for the things that I wish I had known before having my baby. If you can relate to me and with any of the things on this list, definitely give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if there's something that you learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below your favorite part, and share this video with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, that way you can get notified every time I upload, which is every other day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.